Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm back here to talk with you about the 2GIG Edge, the brand new panel from 2GIG, and how to get it wired for power. Uh, this is super easy to do. Um, this panel is also a lot of fun to work with. Um, very, very cool new piece of equipment. Um, what you're going to see first here is the documentation itself. Uh, this will explain everything that I'm going over in this video. Uh, in better detail probably than what I'm going through it in. But uh, this guide is very, very thorough and if you need assistance with anything, you know, uh, this guide should be able to help you out. And if not, you know, we're always there for you as well. Give us a call. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this over to the side here. And uh, before you get going on this, you're going to need a Phillips head, a flat head, and you're also going to need a strip of 22 gauge, 20 gauge, or 18 gauge two conductor wire. Uh, this is to get the power supply wired in, which as you can see, I've already done, uh, just to save a little bit of time. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice on the 2 gig edge is that there's a screw on the bottom that holds this plate in. Uh, what you're going to need to do is just, you know, back out that screw a little bit. It doesn't actually come all the way out, it kind of just stops there. Then you're just going to remove the actual uh, the back plate itself like that, and it comes off. And as you can see inside of there, I've already wired it. Uh, we have red going to DC in plus and black going to DC in minus. And uh, the reason for that red typically represents positive power. So DC in plus is gonna be a po uh, the positive terminal. And black typically represents the ground or the negative. And that's gonna be for DC in negative or minus. Uh, you can see that I wired it through its back plate already. So that way it's easy to pull it out you know, and, and, and get it put back. So, uh, also, the battery. When you plug this backup battery in, you are gonna hear a humming sound more than likely. That's okay. Uh, when you plug the power supply in, that does go away. So, got the battery plugged in now. The power supply is wired in uh, to the panel. So we'll get the back plate put back on and we'll get our screw put back in place to lock the back plate in. All right. All right, and once you do that, then what you're going to do is you'll grab the actual power supply itself, which as you can see, I've already wired in. So the red wire that was going to DCIN plus is actually going to run, run to the positive terminal that you'll see on this power supply. It's labeled positive and negative. So red goes to positive from DCIN plus and black goes to negative from DCIN negative. So you'll see those two. It's wired in. So at this point, we are ready for power, so we'll go ahead and plug it in, and we will take a look here and get some power. Okay, looks like we're getting there. At this point, it'll go through a booting sequence and a cycling sequence, so it may take a few moments for it to actually become fully powered and ready to go. But at this moment, you do have power, and you're actually ready to go ahead and move on to the next part of your system, which, depending on po upon what you're doing, you know, could be programming your user codes, getting your sensors in there, whatever it may be. But this is the actual panel, and uh, that's how you get it wired in for power. If you guys have any questions or you need anything, uh, please feel free to leave us a comment below. Um, but this is the powering of the 2GIG Edge system. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.